Okay, okay, stop, stop. If you're gonna make that face I'm while you're doing it, it's it just, making me feel bad. I'm sorry, it just opened up as I was going. Two drops came out. <laughs> Ouch. Your face. <laughs> Are you gonna pass out? Good morning, everybody. Most of you know by now uh, that last week we had to do an emergency uh, C-section and for uh, for Chelsea's delivery last week. Um, so something else that happened uh, that I believe she's already talked about is um, that she got, had to go back to the ER a couple nights ago um, because she was still bleeding from her incision. So it turns out she has a hematoma and at risk for infection. So they had to open her back up and then put back in some gauze and stuff to pack the wound, I guess, and try to keep the hematoma draining. Well, she needs to do that twice a day. She can't go back to the hospital twice a day. So they're like, you either need to do it yourself or your husband needs to do it. I don't like blood though. And if you've watched any of our uh, previous birth videos, for whatever reason, I was fine. I don't know if it was the adrenaline or whatever, but it was fine during a C-section. Um, but during Zeke and Ezra's births, if you look closely, you can see I lose a little bit of color because I don't do well with that kind of stuff most of the time. Although I'm way better nowadays than I used to be. Uh, but still, my job now has to be to stuff her wounds, package, package her wounds, and uh, her incision and help that hematoma to keep draining. So uh, obviously we won't show any of that. But let me demonstrate what I have to do because we had a nurse friend come over last night and basically show me what I have to do. So basically, this was uh, Chelsea's abdomen where they uh, had to cut her open and deliver baby. Wham. Um, but what they were able to do was afterwards, and this is the miracle of uh, modern medicine, they were able to put her back together, which was awesome. So now, no more bleeding. And uh, eventually that will heal and you won't even be able to tell that there was much of a, an incision there. Um, except for now we had to drain the hematoma. So that meant they had to open her back up in one small part of the incision. And like that, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not just, just a little bitty hole that they had to open back up to uh, package that wound. So my job then uh, according to what they said in the ER, and then she had an appointment with the doctor, and then our nurse friend came and showed us how to do it. My job is going to be taking a Q-tip, so my job is to take some gauze, dampen it up a little bit, take a Q-tip, and basically I have to work it into the incision little by little, like so. Yeah. And uh, until there's only a little bit left sticking out that I can then later grab and pull out. So what's in there right now, I'm gonna have to pull out what's in there right now and then pack it. Um, so once that's in, and I pull out the old one, then put this in, then I'm gonna have to take another piece to put over it to help absorb some more as it continues to bleed and then package it all up and tape it. So I don't know how long I have to do this for, but I'm hoping not long because I do not do well with this kind of stuff and uh, I'm going to I'm gonna push through like a man and take care of my beautiful wife who just gave birth to our third child and is going through much more pain than I am and I will buck up and figure out how to do it um, without passing out. But that's sometimes what you have to do after a C-section. So, 
I have to go do that right now. All right, so first things first, I need um, gauze pack and I need some of the tape and uh, what is this, hydrogen peroxide? Gloves. And then where did she put the uh, actual gauze wrap? Oh, there we go. And this is the tape. I'm gonna wash. Just gauze without washing your hands. You're supposed to have gloves on before you touch any of the equipment. Okay. You're already doing things wrong. Okay, so now hands are washed and... And then you just touched your camera. Well, <laughs> just kidding. You're gonna put gloves on, but once you put gloves on, I don't want yeah. you touching your camera again. So, got that. And then I need Did you bowl of water? the scissors, the gauze. The scissors, remember you put in alcohol. Mm-hmm. Use alcohol wipe for the scissors before I use them. And I need a Q-tip. All right, so. Gloves. These are tiny gloves. She said, what do I need to dip in water? The gauze that goes inside me, I think. That's right, okay. But I need to clean everything off with the hydro hydro hydrogen peroxide first. On the, yeah, on a thing of gauze, I think. Okay. Just to wipe it, the area clean. Okay. It's really fun to do this with our kids outside. This is where I'm like, how are we supposed to balance it all? I don't know. There's just so much to do and so much, like healing takes time and effort. Mm -hmm. and well, then Ezra will be mad, but he'll get over it here in a second. I know, I just hate listening to it. It makes it stressful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna wipe down the area. Okay. So then, I just pull this out. Yeah, be kind of gentle about it. My only thing is, I just don't want to like trigger the sides of the wound to mm -hmm. like pucker. Mm -hmm. So try to be as gentle, but don't go too slow because then it's just like uh, like terrible. I don't know. Like so far, I don't feel it. Okay, okay, stop, stop. If you're gonna make that face I'm while you're doing it, it's it making just... me feel bad. I'm sorry, it just opened up as I was pulling. You got it? Yeah, it's got it. It's out. Is it good? Is it fully saturated? Yeah, it's fully saturated, yeah. Okay, what she said is a good sign for now. Mm hmm. So, <laughs> I'm tasting blood. Are you gonna pass out? No. I love how Ezra's just wreaking havoc outside for this whole time. Okay, this is an alcohol wipe. The scissors. Put it down. Like it just, she said that I just sent her a picture of like the amount of blood and she says that she's happy with that amount. Okay. That was fast. Okay, and while this is open, is there anything coming out of it? No. So you don't feel this? I only feel it on my belly. I don't feel my incision at all. Okay. I mean, like, two drops came out. <laughs> Ouch. Your face. <laughs> okay. Two drops came out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, do I need to, like, hold? I yes. think I was holding uh, this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. I'm gentle. I'm being gentle. You don't feel this? No. Okay. I feel pressure, but... I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, it's hard not to laugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm, okay. Mm. What? Did something just happen? Are you ruining my body? I don't think so. I'm doing what she did. My body? <laughs> my poor 
your body. I honestly don't feel this at all. Oh, Just, I need the fan on. I need the fan on. What? So, what is like? What is tripping you up? Like I'm sticking stuff I in don't, your body. I don't feel it though. So it's not supposed to be in your body. <laughs> You're making it worse. I am so bad. I so badly want to be like. Ow, 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 ow. Don't do that. We need to save for it if it ever does start to hurt because you're not going to believe me. I think I got it in. Wow. You and Leah are so gentle. Um, okay. That wasn't bad, babe. Okay, okay. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Like, you're the one that deserves it. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is messed up. Okay, then she got this uh, out. Yep, and you press push it. Actually, we don't really need to push it because I want the blood to come out, so we don't want to, like, yeah. We need, I need to replace your whole bandage here, too, right? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. And that abdominal pad worked really well. Okay. I'm, I need to pull tape off this. This is horrible. Not for you, I'm sorry. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. Whatever. <laughs> so okay. sensitive. So, I totally wouldn't like on what I'm supposed to be doing now. A gauze pad. A gauze pad. Lay on top. She kind of had it folded and laid. No, did she? I like thought it was that. flat. Okay. I mean, it has to fold a little bit to fit. Okay. And then where were those? Couldn't tell you. Hey, Ezra's gone. <laughs> I feel so bad. He's they're gonna have trauma from this like season of life being neglected and ignored. Like this is some, not the same thing. She's in survival mode. Oh uh, no, it's not. And you just created an unsterile environment for that, so we can use that one. I liked the thin ones. I mean, well, I'll just use it. It's fine. This is abdominal Yes, pad. it's the same thing. It's just like that's what the hospital gave me rather than like what Leah brought. Okay. I'm get rid of them. You don't open it. You don't open it? <laughs> you, you tape it like that. I guess you could fold it like this and tape it. it. They just had it folded like this and taped it like this. Okay. But I actually like the idea of folding it in half better so it's a little thinner. Okay. Can you hold that? This tape is probably not really thick enough. I have the other tape too. That's thicker. So proud of you. <laughs> oh, this is covering my whole wound. My incision isn't sticking out of this, is it? It's right at the edge. It's, okay, it's fine. This doesn't need to cover my whole wound. Really just... I just wanted to make sure the tape isn't on my incision, right? Alright. Okay. Stick it to my gloves. Just take your gloves off. You don't need them on anymore. It's a long piece of tape. Okay. You did it! Wait, wait, just I just gotta show the finished product of that real quick. Yeah, I hope not the wounds all covered up. There we go. Look at that nicely packaged wound. And that is how. You package a wound. <laughs> Don't you feel so good? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs>